you reckon anyone's going to have noticed that you've been wearing the same clothes for three videos now? No. <laughs> no one cares, do they? I don't. It's often said that sharks have an unfair reputation as giant murder fish, when they're mostly content to just bob around the ocean, occasionally slapping us with their tails. While sharks don't often eat humans, they will eat almost anything else, as the tiger shark is only too happy to prove. Experts on sharks and shark behaviour in general have noted that there appears to be no creature in the ocean that a sufficiently hungry tiger shark won't attempt to attack and eat, up to and including other goddamn sharks. It's a shark that eats sharks. It's a shark that eats other sharks. That's sharkception right there. Which is a joke that we could have made about five, six years ago. But we can't now. But I'm guessing you just put that bit in and are now putting in this bit of me awkwardly trying to explain why the joke's not funny. And now I look like an idiot. <laughs> oh God, that noise. <laughs> Imagine if sharks made that noise. Because no one knows what noise a shark makes, do they? Because it's underwater. Like, in my head, they either make, like, a really scary, giant, like, foghorn-type noise. Or they're like, oh, excuse me, oh, dearie me. Impossibly British sharks. Wearing little top hats and monocles. <laughs> oh, I spilled tea on my hand, bastard. <laughs> Woo! I was thinking about sharks. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's fucking hot, is that? Oh. I feel like we need some examples of the kind of things that tiger sharks will eat. Certainly. Well, just to get things rolling, um, tiger sharks have been observed trying to eat giant armor-plated turtles, dolphins, whales, seabirds crabs, lobsters, jellyfish, sea snakes, the concepts of time itself, gungans, aquaman. Basically, if it's in the ocean, a tiger shark will attempt to eat it, presumably while swimming around in circles and shitting everywhere as an insult to nature itself. So the ocean's fucked, but as long as we stay on land, we're fine. You'd think so, right, wouldn't you? Like, we're in a house now surrounded by hundreds of miles of wonderful shark-smothering land. But apparently, no, because tiger sharks have been found with creatures that exclusively live on land in their stomachs, and nobody is really quite sure how they got there. Are we talking, like, dogs? Well, family dogs, yes, sometimes. They've also found a tiger shark that had an entire chicken coop in its stomach, complete with feathers, and another one that had a horse's head in its mouth, or in its lower intestine, and they're not really sure how that got in there. A word? Let us know in the comments how you think that happened, but obviously the chicken coop one, people think maybe people were transporting chickens, and the chicken coop fell overboard and a tiger shark ate it, but the horse's head one? So I don't understand how half a horse got into the middle of the ocean, or, alternatively, how a shark got into a horse pen. Either way, each scenario is equally as ridiculous. But I'm more inclined to believe the latter, and that a shark just willed itself onto land because it wanted to try horse. He said earlier about it with its top hat and its monocle. Just it just blends in with humans. You don't know, do you? Like, like, I'm not making this up. They really did find a tiger shark that had half a horse in its stomach. And like experts aren't really sure where the horse head came from. Maybe someone like threw it into the ocean and the shark ate it. But my theory is the shark just willed itself onto land because it had already eaten everything in the ocean. So my hunger is eternal. I must sate it with horse. If it's all, if it was a horse's head, you know what that speaks to me? The mafia. Mafia. The mafia hire sharks. Do you think that's like a stupid mafia guy who got confused between sleeping with the fishes and leaving a horse's head? <laughs> and tried to combine the two and just threw a horse's head into the ocean and thought, oh, you know what, Jimmy will get the message. And the sharks just sat there about to prey down on like some lobsters and the horse's head just floats from the sky. And he's like, oh. Since we've just talked about mafias leaving horses' head, as an aside, because obviously the clip you're probably going to put in is the one from The Godfather, the guy finding the horse's head. Um, fun fact, that's a real horse's head, and the guy in that scene didn't realise it was a, horse, a real horse's head. So his reaction to seeing that horse head is 100% genuine. Do you think he was going to lift it up and see a fake one? No, he thought it was a prop, and apparently they got it from an abattoir nearby and it was ice cold. So he was like, obviously, they put it under the quilt and he was asleep and he just felt something cold against his skin. Then he opened it up and sees, like, a decapitated horse head and absolutely shit his bricks. The more you know, kids, the more you know. Also, stop putting that bleeding more you know clip in. See, the picture of my face is really awful. And I've got this big giant head. It looks weird. 
It's a picture of you looking excited and happy. But I'm always excited and happy. I'm sure you can find a better one. <laughs> I'll put a shark head on it. Or the horse's head. <laughs> the more you know in a horse head. There we go. So what you're basically saying is, no animal is safe. No, Brad. What I'm saying is, nothing is safe from a tiger shark. Because, like I said, they will eat anything. Curious in nature and aggressive when provoked, tiger sharks have been known to stop at nothing to complete a hunt for food. What examples do we have of this? Well, there's the tired cliches of a tire, a license plate, a fat kid on a raft. <laughs> In addition to all of that, some of the more unusual items found in the stomachs of tiger sharks include a full suit of armour, a fur coat, a sack of coal, some antlers, a giant tin of peas, and some guy's wallet with all the money missing. Which to me suggests that the shark mugged him and then tried to hide the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> the actual story probably is like some guy on a boat dropped his wallet overboard and the shark just ate it thinking it was a fish or something. I'm much more inclined to believe that the shark mugged somebody. Just because that means that guy had to go to the police station the next day and describe the shark to a police sketch artist. <laughs> like he's sat there going, just take your time, sir. Just describe what you can about the person who mugged you. And he's like, okay, um, you got about 300 teeth, nine foot long, smelled like fish. He goes, it's not a lot to go on, fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine dropping your wallet. And it's like, oh, and then someone rings you up. Like, oh, I found your wallet. And he goes, where did you find my wallet? I dropped it in the ocean. What happened? Because where'd you get it? I found it in the belly of a tiger shark. He goes, oh, that's great. I've got all the pictures of my family in there. He goes, was there any money left in it? Oh, no. And the guy thinks, there was definitely money when I dropped it. And what it actually is, the sh like the shark planted it on the other shark and it just smash cuts to Las Vegas and there's a shark with like a big overcoat and a hat just using his little fin to just slide money onto the roulette wheel. It's like walking around like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles do, when they wear like the, uh, the big overcoat and the hat and the masks. That's what the shark walks around looking like, it waddles everywhere. All I can say is that I hope someone from Hollywood is watching this video, just in case they happen to be the person who reboots Jaws. Just so that we can have a scene in that movie where a tiger shark gets cut open and every single item we've listed so far falls out of its stomach at once. So what is your favourite shark movie? Well, everyone's probably expecting me to say Jaws because that's like the only real good shark movie. But I've got a soft spot in my heart for Ghost Shark. Oh, Ghost Shark is so good. For anyone who doesn't know, Ghost Shark is exactly what it sounds like. It's a movie about a ghost shark. And the crux of the movie is that the ghost shark can appear anywhere there is water. Which means there are fantastic scenes, including one where a kid goes down a slip and slide. And because the shark can appear anywhere there's water, there's the giant shark appears at the end of the slip and slide, and the kid slides straight into his mouth. <laughs> there's also another scene where the people decide to hide inside a building, and some guy gets thirsty and tries to drink water from a water fountain, and the shark comes out of his stomach. <laughs> What are you supposed to do? People need water to live, and you drink water, and the shark can appear like a thimble full of water and just explode out of it. Well, isn't the bit at the end, it like leaps out of puddles and then falls in other yeah, puddles? Yeah, that's like, like driving uh, down the road, yeah. just leaping out of puddles. But the idea that makes that shark the most terrifying creature in any horror movie is the fact that the guy drinks a glass of water and it appears inside his own stomach. Like, theoretically, that shark can appear inside the water inside your own cells. Nobody is safe from Ghost Shark. Ghost Shark is way too OP as a villain. Have you seen the three-headed shark? I've not seen three-headed shark. It's, no. uh, essentially, the, the gist of it is the same as Ghost Shark. There's a killer shark on the loose that's trying but, to get But the it's people, got three heads. But it's got three heads. And then, obviously, you've got, the uh, you got Sharknado's. Sharknado's the classic. And then, and shark like, me yeah, Mega Shark versus Shark, or, like, Mega Octopus versus Shark to Puss and all yeah. that bullshit. But... I don't think anything will ever compete with just Ghost Shark and just the shot of the kid going down the slip and slide directly into the open toothy maw of a giant waiting Ghost Shark. I think we could both agree that the Goat Shark movie has got to be Deep Blue Sea. Like, I'd say it's better than Jaws in some regards. Like, you can't touch Jaws as the classic of cinema that it is, but for sheer entertainment value, a movie about a shark that's super smart that also attacks Samuel L. Jackson Indoors. <laughs>
That's my favourite bit of that movie. I've got an article about it on the Fact Fiend website. I'll make a video about it one day. But basically, the, the crux is, like, there is a scene in that movie where Samuel L. Jackson gets bitten in half by a genetically modified super shark indoors. And the director of that film specifically put that scene in because he liked the idea if he killed the biggest name actor in the entire movie, anyone else was fair game. Because the idea was, if the shark can get Samuel L. Jackson indoors, he can get anybody. We're gonna seal out this movie. The idea being, like, from that point on in the movie, you would always be tense and on edge about where the next shark attack would come from. Because, holy shit, if a shark can get you indoors, it could be anywhere.